The University of Waterloo Formula Hybrid team is a student team that's totally composed of undergraduate students at the University of Waterloo. Every student at the University of Waterloo is um, an engineering program, participates in a fourth year design project and this is the team that I chose. And what the team's main focus is building a race car that's sustainable in nature and is energy efficient. Um, every automaker is trying to make their car go further on a drop of fuel and this is no exception to that. So every single um, design aspect of the vehicle, we need to consider how efficient the overall package is gonna be in terms of consumption of either electricity or gasoline. These cars are a hybrid, so the powertrain is effectively different than a normal SAE car. This is two power sources, one being an electric motor and the other one being an internal combustion engine. The car does run on E85 ethanol, which is a renew renewable fuel source. As many of you may know, um, when you're braking, a lot of that energy can be stored in the batteries, so it converts the kinetic energy of the vehicle into the electric energy that's stored inside the batteries. The shell that you see here is made out of uh, carbon fiber, so that's a very light composite material and allows good stiffness to weight ratio. This carbon fiber was initially developed from NASA to use in space shuttles. We do compete in an annual international competition in uh, New Hampshire at the New Hampshire Motor Speedway and that pits us against a number of different schools across the world including um, Russia, China, Spain and um, that's a competition where we go through a number of dynamic so moving events as well as static events and they evaluate the car's performance efficiency as well as uh, design aspects. Definitely math and science is going to help as with any engineering discipline but your, your willingness to get hands-on as well as um, try different things that you've never, might not have tried before, um, as well as problem solving is, is very important. Definitely learning is more fun when you have something to connect it to because uh, it allows you to remember things a lot easier and it definitely allows you to have more tangible skills that you can hold on to. So a project like this, it links the classroom to the workplace and it allows you to definitely enjoy what you're learning a lot more. So in grade five, it's, it's important that you, you have some, something that you can do that allows you to practice what you're learning, whether it be science, math, English. It, it allows you to work every day at things that you're learning in the classroom and definitely makes it more fun in that aspect. University of Waterloo definitely equips its students to not only have the academic background, but the practical background behind that and definitely it gives them a leading edge on the competition. All engineering programs at Waterloo have mandatory co-ops so what that means is you have a placement at a company in, in the industry. This gives you a lot of practical experience with um, linking the academics that you learn in school to what you need to actually do in the workforce. Uh, the co-op placements are, the majority of them are paid positions, yes, and um, you do get paid and compensated fairly well. I mean, when I was a kid, I was interested in all things mechanical, which sort of led me to come to Waterloo, but mainly it led me to seek engineering as, as a post-secondary education background. Every student takes a part in building the car and every student gets to drive it at the end of the day, which is really rewarding at the end when you can sit inside a vehicle and say that I had a hand in building this and you can run it around a race course and feel proud. The green initiative that's associated with a project like this, being efficiency minded, is definitely um, the wave of the future. 20 years from now, I don't think cars will be flying, but they'll definitely have batteries and as well as gasoline or internal combustion engines.